Hello everybody and welcome to my 8th uh, Visual Basic 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to use strings. Um, so what is a string? So a little history lesson, uh, back in the old days of uh, computers um, you used to have characters which were just one variable uh, per letter. So you'd have a variable and it would hold an L or an M and a C, uh, which was useful, but when you wanted to have sentences, you needed to piece these characters together. Uh, and you, there, there used to be kind of programs that would do all that. Uh, you'd have to write it in and it would be quite lengthy. Um, so what, the, what they've decided to put in pretty much every code there is out there is a variable called string. Uh, so what a string is essentially just a series of characters put together to form either a word or a sentence uh, or just any kind of random combination of, of figures but um, so to in order to use these so you reference them the same way as, well, as before so dim and then the name of our variable so my string I'm gonna go for um, and then as string uh, and so this gives us now a placeholder in our in the memory of our computer that can hold uh, a, a piece of text. So we can just use this the same way as we were using our numbers one. So my string equals, and then you can just type text. But in order to make it a string, you need to put it between two speech marks. So the speech marks just say, "Hey, look at me! I'm a string." Um, so look at me. I'm a string. Uh, and make sure you put in random punctuation because otherwise it won't work. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Of course it'll work. Um, if you're going to put in random punctuation for like me, if you put in another speech mark, then just make sure you put in a second speech mark straight away because if you put in one, then it's going to go, oh, look at me, I'm the end of a string. And then this bit's not going to know what it is, and then it's going to error. So if you want to put in a speech mark, just put in two speech marks. Um, just a quick tip. So then we can do what we want with this. So I'm going to write it into our workbook. So this workbook dot sheets sheet one. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm doing here, then go back and watch my earlier tutorials. Uh, and so let's just put it in cell 1 uh, to the value of it and then we can just make this equal to my string uh, and then if we press play on this and then go back into our workbook uh, and that's not our workbook uh, go across then boom it's been written in look at me I'm a string um, so it's written it right in. Um, what we can also do with this uh, is you can add two strings together. So let's, let's create another one. So dim my string two as string. Uh, and then let's just make my string two equals look at me. I'm a second string. Uh, and then let's just put these together. So my string equals my string. And then you don't use plus in these circumstances, you use an ampersand. Um, so the ampersand is, is what we call a concatenation. So we can then con concatenate this with another string. Um, concatenation just meaning to join together so it's going to take this string and it's going to add it to this string um, and then it's going to put it back into my string so I, I've kind of, I think I might have shown you this before but um, with numbers but you can actually assign a variable uh, to itself after modifying it uh, and then it's going to change the the, the value of the one that you're using in the first place. So it's going to start off as look at me, I'm a string, and then you're going to add it onto it. Look at me, I'm a second string. So let's press play. 
uh, and go back into here and then you notice that it's put in look at me I'm a string and then look at me I'm a second string um, I don't know why I'm putting on weird accents for this tutorial um, but I'm hoping you will like it uh, so that's how you'd combine strings together um, sorry just had to have a little cough there um, so you can also with your your strings you don't have to just have the variables we can put in the middle we can put something else so we can put another string here so look at me I'm a string in the middle and then strings not only do they take letters but they take white space as well so if we put some spaces in between these and then press play uh, and then go back into our workbook and then you notice now that it's added in not only added in that string in the middle but it's also added in the little spaces either side so we could get rid of this and our string could just contain a white space like this um, but this isn't actually going to just put in nothing uh, it's going to put in the, the white space that we've added so look at me look at me I'm a second string uh, with a space in the middle um, so that's how you can put multiple strings together um, and you can use them in the same way we've used them before you can put them in a message box uh, you can take take them from a uh, input box and you can put the value into your string say um, you can ask them a question like ask their gender or something like that or ask their name um, and, and then you can stick it in and you can put it put it wherever you want um, and um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. That's that's how you set up your str strings. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of formulas that you can use with strings uh, in order to kind of cut them up, mix them up, stick them together. Um, so thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.